What's up everybody? I'm going to show you how to install Windows 10 using your flash drive. First you need to do, you need to download Windows 10 from Microsoft website. You have to go to this website and I'll put link in the description below. Scroll down and uh, click on uh, download tool. Now you'll have to download this create Windows 10 installation media. So we're going to download this first. Click save. And then we gotta go to our downloads, download folder, and double click on the media creation tool. And in this pop up box, you need to click accept. And right here, you need to click on create installation media, and then click next. And right here, you need to choose uh, your language, edition, and architecture. If you don't know if you have 32-bit or 64-bit, which you can do, you can click on start and type this PC or this computer or my computer and right-click on it and click on properties. And right here, you can actually see what kind of system you're running. Mine is 64-bit, so I will install 64-bit. So right here, I'm just going to leave it 64 bit or you can download both and then click next. There is two different ways to do this USB flash drive or ISO file. I'm going to show you how to do it with the ISO file because that way you can use that same ISO file either for your USB flash drive or for DVD or whatever you like to use that for. And then click next. And right here, we're going to choose where to download Windows. I'm just going to choose uh, desktop and click save. And now we're just going to have to wait until it's going to download Windows 10 file. Once Windows 10 is done downloading and verifying file, you can go ahead and click finish. And now we have to create bootable flash drive. For that, we'll need to download a program called Rufus. If you type in Google Rufus, you go to this website and I will put a link in the description below. You'll have to download this program. This is free and I use a usually portable version and I'm not going to download this time because I already did before. Once you download, go to your downloads and uh, double click on Rufus. Insert your flash drive into your computer. Rufus will detect your flash drive, select it. And then right here, click select, go to desktop and select your windows this is the one we download your flash drive needs to be i think at least uh, eight gigs uh, of storage and click open okay and right here if you have an older computer then you will need to change it to mbr and if you have a newer computer then leave it at G gpt and then click start Right here, it's just going to tell you that all the data on your flash drive will be deleted. Click OK. And now it's creating bootable flash drive. OK, when it's finished, click close and eject your flash drive okay now we need to insert flash drive with the windows 10 the one we just created into our computer the one that we're gonna install windows 10 start your computer and on the startup start pressing f12 this is will take us to the boot menu i'm doing this on dell so on dell it is f12 if you're using some kind of different computer what you can do, you can just uh, go into Google and type how to boot into a boot menu 
on Lenovo, HP, or whatever computer you're using. And now right here, we need to choose a USB storage device and click enter. Okay, over here, I'm just gonna leave everything as default, but you can change uh, different language and uh, time and keyboard layout, and then click next, and then install now. And right here in this section, you need to put your Windows 10 key, or I'm gonna skip it for now. I'm just gonna click on, I don't have a product key. Okay, over here in this section, I'm gonna choose uh, Windows 10 Pro. That's the product key that I have for this computer. And then click next. Right here, click accept terms and conditions and click next. And over here, we need to choose custom. And right here, we need to delete all the partitions. Click OK and then choose the top one and click delete, click OK. And right here, make sure this partition is selected and then click next. And that's it. It's installing Windows 10 on your laptop or desktop computer. Okay, once the installation is done, just go through initial setup really quick. Okay, now you have a fresh and clean copy install of Windows 10 and don't forget to activate Windows if you don't know how what you can do you can go to uh, your computer just right click on it and go to properties and right here you can activate your Windows and if you don't have a Windows product key you can go to eBay and just type uh, Windows 10 Pro and you can find really cheap product keys over there and they're legit, they work, I tried them before. So, thanks for watching.